hi guys uh, so basically in this tutorial today the exercise that we're going to cover is about this vortex cube so if we quickly analyze this cube like it has some strange holes from all the six sides of it right so if you are an expert user like I can quickly tell you the approach for this this is simple just a square cube then there is a spherical hole inside it and then there are six spherical coals, uh, holes at every side but those holes are basically of the bottom of the spheres right so if in case I quickly just want to show you like how this has been like let's say if I just hide this I'll show you this through exercise also this is a cube right and inside this there was this uh, sphere so this is our first cut right and then this is uh, another sphere that we have put on top this is the first cut and this is then these cuts are repeated on, on all the six sides basically and that's how you get your shape right so if in case you're a beginner like I can quickly tell you how you can achieve this right neatly great so what we can do is uh, I'll tie the sample file also uh, this, this tutorial so let's start by creating a new file great and now we can switch switch to part workbench as currently we have already in the part workbench only so what you can do is uh, there are multiple approaches you can either create the cube first or you can create the sphere first which is inside it with which you can you will make the first hole right so I suggest we make the sphere first right uh, that's in order to basically facilitate how we can further create the cube so let's say we start with this sketch option uh, we can choose the orientation so let's say we choose the front view uh, which is the XZ plane right we click OK so now here we have the sketch plane so let's quickly create a sphere like how we basically want to create this sphere is what we'll do is uh, we'll create an arc like this one let's create take origin as a center right make sure you have this overall geometry around your uh, origin basically in order to make it more easy right uh, then you can basically so we'll make it solid so let's create this line also right now you can what you can do is you can click uh, quickly constraint these points to the axis select the one point then the y axis like this sorry this is that axis and then here you have an option for the constraint coincident simply click on it then repeat for the bottom point and we do it for this also right and now you can see uh, you have a kind of semi circle now let's give radius to this right or you can simply give length to this line which will be diameter so we'll choose with the diameter only the length of this line uh, which we can give around let's say 4 inches cool now you can simply close this sketch by pressing on escape key right now to create the sphere what you can do is you can simply revolve this sketch so click on the sketch and here we have an option to revolve right so the shape is selected uh, rest of the settings are totally fine angle is 360 degree you can simply select the reference right so this is something was done around the uh, axis only or if in case you have a reference plane you can also reference line you can also choose that it will revolve around that right so now you can see you have this uh, sphere created for you of 4 inches now what we'll do is we'll create a cube around this right so for that go to again create a new sketch now this time let's create this sketch at the top plane only using XY right so what we'll do is go to rectangle simply draw a rectangle around this uh, as this will be cube so sides should be equal let's make these two sides equal 
and here we have an e equal constraint and then we can constrain these geometries uh, corresponding to the axis so simply click on first point of one side then select the center axis then the last point and then you have this symmetry constraint basically you can see here now these are constrained symmetrically now similarly we do it for the other side also select the point axis last point and then choose this constraint symmetric right now you can see this rectangle is totally symmetrically constrained around the axis and the sides are also equal now you can simply give any length to any one of the side simply click on the one of the side uh, line basically and then you have the option to constrain it with the length so this length we can give around six inches let's say we click OK right this option for us we now escape the sketch you can see this is the uh, sketch that we have for the rectangle with which we can make, will make the cube select the sketch and here you have the extrude option select this right and here what you can do is if you go to the settings down you have this length along and against right so what we'll do is we'll put the values in both of these parameters so one way will give around three inches another one will also give three inches so the rectangle was six by six similarly the cube will also be abide by that so three inches above three inches below right and simply click on ok now you got your cube you can see the circle is also inside it you can basically make your cube transparent in order to see that right uh, like this uh, sorry for the cube so you can see you have your sphere inside it right uh, <coughs> let's not make it transparent very now what you can do is you can simply subtract uh, your sphere from rectangle from the cube basically so select the cube the parent from which you want to subtract something and then select the sphere by holding control key and then here you have an option for cut right in case you don't see it here you can also go to part toolbar here and then here basically have boolean operations and then simply click on cut so once you're done with this is your sphere is basically subtracted from your cube so th as these are solids so this is our first hole that we have inside the cube now what we will do is we'll make the holes uh, from the top and other sides that's also quite simple we go to sketch again and we choose the front plane let's say XZ we click OK right and in order to just see the section inside it here you have this option inside sketch which says view section so you can see this the circumference of the circle here just to get an idea so now what you can do here is we want to create a sphere which should be going inside the cube and should also go inside your spherical hole so that we can have a see-through effect for all the holes when they are done together for all the sides right so we simply don't want to touch that sphere to this we will make it go beyond the spherical hole so how you can do that simply is uh, just like we did for this circle uh, create this arc right like this just create anything f at the scratch right now just it should be something like this right now you can constrain this with this axis control click the point and then the axis and then here you have the constraint for the coincident it didn't work I didn't select it sorry like this and similarly for this one cool uh, but we don't want it to go beyond our cube right we want it somewhere here right that it should uh, cut your spherical hole and also should cut the side like this so what you can do further is uh, let's put a line as this should be solid 
like this so as you say this is auto constraint now so we have now three degrees of freedom so what we can do is we can simply give the length to this the diameter of the circle click on this line we choose this length constraint and then let's give it as six inches right uh, now what we can do is we can just shift it somewhere like this maybe here right six inches look much maybe make it four inches this should be fine now we can somewhere position it like this right so when this field will be created it will be cutting like this from here to here now only thing we need to do is we need to revolve this sketch to create a, to create another sphere right guys so what we'll do is we'll simply I think one thing is left is uh, we want to uh, give the position of this sphere of this semi circle sketch basically so what you can do for that is uh, we have an option here to choose external geometry let's say we choose uh, this internal sphere and then we simply give the length between these two points so let's say this is 0.5 inches should be fine half inches like this cool uh, another thing which is left here is okay the center should also be constrained uh, to your basically axis so click on the center axis and then we have this coincident option cool uh, we can extend a little bit further more so I think six inches should be great here like this cool we escape the sketch what we'll do is now we will revolve the sketch go to revolve option sketch is selected and uh, it will revolve around the axis only angle is 360 right we'll create solid make sure this is selected and now click ok so you have this sphere on top of uh, your cube so we want the bottom surface to be cut by the sphere for that side of the um, cube so what we'll do is we click on this previous cut option uh, and then we'll select the another sphere the revolve one and click on this cut operation so you can see it has now cut your um, cube also and it has also cut the spherical hole beyond that so in order to see that like precisely like we can't see it see through now so what we'll do is we'll copy uh, that topmost sphere this one to bottom and all the other sides so it is quite simple click on this revolve object uh, go to part and here you have create copy and click on create simple copy like this right now we want to position it at, at bottom that's very simple simply double click on this revolve 002 and you have this transform options right simply have you have this angle you want to rotate it basically so like this hold it and make it 180 degrees like this perfect and now you can repeat that cut operation like this click on cut you can see then that the cut is basically see-through right guys you can see it is now at the top also at the bottom also right now what we want to do is we want to repeat this sphere to all other sides okay so again very simple uh, this revolve that we have previously will create another copy right uh, again double click on it we will position it somewhere here okay uh, rest of the also remaining let's create another copy this is the one let's move it here okay and now we can subtract this from this cool again your cut from the other revolved object click on cut so you got for these two sides also and bottom and top now we let's only remaining two sides 
so for that what you can do is uh, create a copy of uh, one of the sphere like this go to top view right double click on this and this time we want to position it here right you can see like this cool and we want it for the remaining side also again create a copy of this simply this one and now we can bring it here by transforming perfect and now let's cut the remaining objects this from this the final cut from this revolved object bingo you can see 90% of your model is complete now what we are left with is the last thing was these fillets which you can see here that's also quite straightforward right guys simply click on the final object here and then you have an option to fill it at this click on this let's say uh, here let's choose all the sides all the edges or you can choose the edges uh, based on our preferences also we'll click on all radius we can give as 0.25 inches let's not make it too much otherwise it will intersect with other edges right simply click on ok it will just take few seconds and now you can see your geometry is totally ready cool uh, you can apply some appearances to it, to it basically make it let's say right click on it and go to appearance right for our example we went for the gold option uh, this one right and we also choose the shaded version like this so it makes it little bit more smoother you can choose with some other option also aluminium brass bronze you can make it metallized like this or you can make it there was one more uh, material here which I saw quite blackish and shiny there. this one right aluminium is also okay this one is quite shiny and gives us a quite bold look so this was uh, the exercise guys uh, to make a vortex cube like holes on every side and it looks quite astonishing right uh, the sample file for this exercise is in the description you can feel free to download that and, and practice on your own uh, so that was it guys uh, I hope you like it uh, in case let me know with your comments like the, like the video and subscribe the channel and so that was it thank you guys this was nirbhay chauhan for make love via self learning tutorials see you thanks